So with arms raised besides the new four skill trees being a focus point of the designer's cut DLC, I thought I'd bring you guys my opinion on it. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So part 1 of Season Pass 2 offers a new mode called Arms Race. This mode is basically a battle royale mode without the requirement to kill other players. So you are first thrown into Arms Race stripped of all your gear. You have nothing and the aim is to loot. Find that gear, loot some more, extract loot, loot some more, fight a boss and extract said loot. Now with almost a week of early access I have determined that it isn't actually a must to get to that boss fight and in actual fact you can jump straight into it and head straight to the boss fight if you wanna. Who I will state is kinda generous with new legendaries exclusive to this new arms race mode. But if you do not know, the point of this mode is to extract new loot you find. If you die once you've found new loot without extracting it, with no teammates to revive you, or if your whole squad goes down, you lose the loot you have. And another point, extraction points are scattered around a map in which you can see via pulling up your map. But these extraction points are limited, some only offering free extractions, then you are done. The extraction point upon you defeating the boss has 5 slots total. So the point of this mode is to loot and extract, whether that's the boss, higher level enemies, loot caches found around the map or supply drops. So what do I think about this mode? Well I actually think it's as far away from Borderlands as it's possible to take the game without adding PvP. And while I think that's a great great thing, this mode is a great great addition. Now upon us learning about this new mod, I was worried that it was just going to be a larger scaled slaughter shaft. But people I can tell you, it is nothing like the slaughter shaft. The fact all your gear is taken away means like Gearbox initially said, weapons really matter. And well, it for me, kind of sparked that feeling of first playing Borderlands over a year ago while jumping in. Leveling up the ranks, finding loot, actually thinking about said loot and how it will help me progress through the game. As Borderlands for many people, for a long while now has been a game in which you know you have the backing of said builds and weapons to help progress no matter what they add in terms of DLC. That is completely taken away here. So although people mainly now play this game to create and test builds, this mod completely eliminates that and I know many people are bored of standard borderlands, they're bored of creating builds and just messing around killing the same things over and over. But what this mod does is add in actual fun, I haven't had with borderlands in a while. As I, like most of you, have builds which destroy it all. And having DLCs thrown at us, no matter how hard they try and make things, they end up just being so easy it's boring. You never really get that with this mod and that's a great thing. So with Arms Race being something very very new to the franchise, I think Gearbox have done good. And what I hope to see added are more variants to this mod, more loot, more arenas, more of everything that went into this mod. Because this mod alone has made Borderlands for me feel refreshing again. So my opinion on this new mode of arms race. It's an amazing addition to the game, it's both challenging and fun with a great balance between the two. That element of surprise which is addictive in terms of finding said loot is still here, which is what it's all about. Arms race really feels like something new, something refreshing and something I feel in which most of the community will enjoy. Solo or in a team, this mode is fun. And if you went into this video not sure about this mod, I hope what I've said will help you make your mind up about it, whether you play it or not. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BL3, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.